Do you know what somebody correctly pointed out in the comments section of Friday's video? They said, how the hell does this video only have 50 comments? And I completely agree with you, sir. When you go on YouTube and you see videos with 400,000 views in a week, and what is it? How to make money selling eye cream in Los Angeles. Just a big Ponzi scheme scam. But people think it's going to help them make money. Meanwhile, right here in this chair, on this channel, since last April, which is when I started, under one year's time, we've had more Rakers delights than you would see in Supermarket Sweep, including Thursday, Friday, you guys were just cleaning up, raking left and right. But no, 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 everybody go over, go over to the skincare product Ponzi scheme. Go to that video. I'm sure you're going to make more doing that. I don't understand it. I do not. Other The one good thing I will say, I was always worried when I watched Back to the Future 2. I was very skeptical about Biff Tannen making all that money with Gray Sports Almanac. Because if you start to hit at an astronomical rate, like imagine I hit 75 straight bets. Well, I'm obviously there's going to be some sort of article about it. Then people are going to pay attention. Then it's going to be like that Mystic Mac thing. Then all of a sudden players on the team are actually going to see the articles. Then they're going to be like, oh, there's going to be a whole butterfly effect. Yeah, I remember that Ashton Kutcher movie. I actually liked it. A lot of people didn't, but I did. There would be a whole butterfly effect. So the one good thing that's happening here is that our picks, our successful picks, more so than anybody, just destroying everyone, destroying everyone, lapping everyone like Kamaro Usman in the division. Maybe I'll get kicked in the face like he did at the end of round five. But regardless, raking left and right, and we're doing it under everybody's nose. My uncle used to tell me rats don't live on ice. They're on the football field. They screw you with the Houston Texans on a Sunday. But so many times here, we find ourselves raking. And I'm happy I helped you with the mortgage payments, ladies and gentlemen, because last Thursday and Friday for all of you, it was a hell of a couple days there. And I really do hope that you got to enjoy the fruits of my sniff. Not ours, because I gave them to you and you took it my the fruits of my sniff and we'll get right back into those on this monday what we still have for you is the caesars sportsbook promotion your first bet is risk-free up to 1250 dollars you just got to be a first-time user over 21 and located in an area where sports betting is permitted and obviously if you have a problem you got to call 1-800-GAMBLER and just remember the caesars sportsbook uh, bets that they offer that allow you to combine a player point with a result or an over under have changed the game for us you see huge minuses on the board and they let you knock them that you want to take dougie hamilton with the new jersey devils last night minus 365 favorites yeah you put dougie hamilton in there that you're at plus money last night one of the picks that i gave some people with uh, shea theodore and the vegas golden knights against the canadians they were over about 300 as well. You add Shea Teodor, he scored a goal right in the first. Boom, you're at plus money, just like that. It's unbelievable. I'm not kidding. I swear to you, I've been posting a bunch of them on Twitter when I hit them. The Caesars same game parlay feature that you see in the NHL section. So go over there, utilize that feature. There's a link in the description of this video. Sign up on Caesars, take advantage of those. And I'm not just saying that. And you know I'm not just saying that because I've been putting those in and sharing the tickets on Twitter. So looking at this Monday, the first thing I'm going to start with is, I told you a couple weeks back, I don't care. You want to think they're good. They're fine. When I see a team that's actually pretty good going to their building, I'm going to say, yeah, good. I don't care. I'm taking them. I'm taking them against the Buffalo Sabres. We did that with Toronto. We saw what the Sabres did at home against the Blue Jackets. And yes, the Sabres can win because they have that dynamic offense. But what I just saw from Edmonton in those back-to-back -back games, although one was a loss, they looked great in both of them. They were scoring goals left and right. They threw a beating to the Jet, and the Jets were holding on for dear life. Hellebuck made a ton of saves in the third. I like what I saw from Edmonton. They're going into Buffalo. I just don't trust Buffalo. I do not trust Buffalo. Yes, they just beat the Lightning a couple times. You want to know who's beating the Lightning? Everyone. They're playing their worst hockey of the season by far. You saw Buffalo lose on home ice against the Blue Jackets, against Toronto. I don't trust them. I told you that day that I sent out the envelope with the timestamp and that whole thing that I thought whatever about timestamps and envelopes and sent it out to prove that you said it. 
The verdict is in for me. I don't trust the Sabres. Never have, never will. No. I will take the Edmonton Oilers to beat the Buffalo Sabres. But I will tell you, the Sabres, as you see, they can win games. They can win games. But still missing Tuck. I'll even take that little sliver in advantage. Uh, I'll take Edmonton. Also, obviously see the over-under set it's seven and a half in this one. So a way you can juice that up if you want to get that to plus money. Obviously, you can use some of the Caesar same game parlays, but you can also both teams over one and a half goals. I mean, the over-under is seven and a half. And then the Edmonton Oilers to win that one. So I like that for that particular game. Then we're going to move over to Winnipeg because I did say... I thought Winnipeg would win on the second half. Do you guys want me to teach you lessons here? Well, when you got a team, and that's not me being condescending. Trust me, I will tell you when I'm being condescending, and I won't, I won't hesitate for a second. But when you have a team, two teams playing home and home, meaning one team gets the home game, then the next night the other team gets the home game. Not that weird Ottawa thing we saw with Detroit where they just throw them two home beatings last week, which we were on both of them. Uh, but you have... You had Edmonton play Winnipeg at home. And they embarrassed them. They beat the crap out of them. Hella buck got pulled. It's so natural the next night. Go Jets. Go bounce back. And they did. And you get a good price of them. They were plus money at home. So that was a good good sniff on my... Always remember that in the future. Not if a team is absolute garbage. You have two teams in playoff positioning. If they do a home and home, especially in the final third of the year, that's one you could always look for the home team. And this, whoever lost that first one. If the home team won the first one, I'll take the home team to win the second one. Anyway, Winnipeg, they got that big home win on Saturday night. And Hellebuck played fantastic in the third. He really locked down the win for them. They're playing the Sharks, this depleted Sharks team. And I say depleted, you know, there's no there's no more Meyer. This is that final stretch that I've been telling you about. Chicago's been losing every game like I've been telling you about. The bad teams, the real slides, I believe, are going to continue throughout the rest of the season. Yes, they're going to win a game or two here and there. But in a game that Winnipeg, I think, really needs to win, they had that that big slide. They got that win. This would be a massive letdown for them not to win this game. So I'm going to take Winnipeg to win this one. And also, I will take Winnipeg and combine that with the under in the Calgary-Dallas game. There's rat potential in that one. So I'm going to bump it up. Don't you know? Bump it up. It's actually pump it up. I Somebody got confused and they were searching for the song, but it's pump it up. But I say bump it up. But bump that up to six and a half. Don't you know? Bump it up. And then you combine that with the Winnipeg Jets money line. I do like that one. Also, if you don't want to take that Winnipeg game by itself, understand it's relatively high minus and you guys refuse to take minus bets here. Now, I'm not going to give you something to get it all the way to a plus, but if you add over four and a half goals, I think that is very attainable in this particular game. So I will take Winnipeg with over four and a half. That gets you down to minus 130. Not too bad. And then for those of you, because I've been pretty good with those two pluses lately, not a huge assortment of games to choose from. If you combine the two plus goals... And you're probably wondering why I didn't say Ottawa. Maybe I am going to say Ottawa. Who knows? But if you take the two-plus goals for each team in the Ottawa game, and then you combine it with the two-plus goals, you can call this a semi-sniff in the Washington game, Washington, L.A., I think you're going to get two in both of those. You put those together, that's plus money. But am I going to take the Senators? Is it going to be the Senators that I'm going to give you on Instagram? Because as you know, I got one more pick for it. We're at like 7,500 now. 2,500 more followers, ladies and gentlemen. And the same person who said, how is there only 50 comments on this? How are we not at 10,000 yet? You guys are doing a decent job. I've upgraded you from dismal to decent. We want to get it up to stellar. Come to my Instagram for one final pick later. I release it right before game time. Why do I do that? Because... I know one of you. You think going to be the, the clever guy to go over there at 2.30 in the afternoon, bring it right back here in the comments, and save everybody the trouble. But I told you, nobody can outscrew the Spite Master. I've thought, whatever whatever you're thinking of right now, what can I do? To, I've already forgot about it. That's how far back it is in my book of scam. I have a scam of the week on my podcast, which you should check out. It's called the You're Still Here podcast, which is also available on my Instagram. Come over to the Instagram. I'll see you there later for the final pick. Make sure you're subscribed here to the Odd Shopper channel where you get nothing but premium sniffing products. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.